Thank you, Gloria. Um, my distinguished colleagues on the head table, um, the members of the media that are present, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to all of you. Um, before I actually get into my uh, speech, I just, from, for, the, for the sake of the media, I would just like to clarify um, some of the terminology that was used there by Professor Dyer. He, when he talked about the seven uh, areas identified in the medium term policy for diversification, they are in fact not growth poles, but they are diversification clusters of industries. The growth poles are five economic spaces that we need to develop in our country. Okay? So that's just so that we don't get those things mixed up. What I'd like to do this morning is really to, to, to share with you why we at the CCI are pleased to support the organization uh, and the ideas behind Global Entrepreneurship Week. And we're going to do that through some of the innovations that the CCI has been working on. In fact, we've been doing some things before we got in touch with GEW. And we've decided, as you'll hear later on in what I'm going to say, that we decide to align some of the ideas that we've got in terms of developing innovation in the country to coincide with GEW Week. But first of all, let me just start by saying a little bit about the CCI. The CCI was established by the government of Trinidad and Tobago uh, in early 2011 as an advisory board to the, the, the minister uh, in planning and development. It's currently working on two major areas, um, one with which is trying to improve the competitiveness of our country on a national level, and I think we all have heard about the Global Competitiveness Index. And, um, we're not doing so good on that at the moment, but our work is really to try to unravel uh, the elements of that and try to steer that into the right direction. The other is building uh, national awareness uh, and capacity uh, in terms of developing innovation, which we know leads to improved productivity and a better life for all of us. And it is in that area that we are here to talk about some of the initiatives that coincide with GEW. Under the innovation building component of its mandate, one of the flagship programs is the eye to eye, the idea to innovation. In a nutshell, this program is one that seeks to build innovation by encouraging citizens of Trinidad and Tobago over 18 years of age to submit an idea which they'd like to pursue. Um, after an independent evaluation process, successful participants are then awarded grants, not loans, ranging from 75,000 uh, to $200,000 uh, with the aim of developing their idea to a point of proof of concept with a view of eventual commercialization. In addition to the grants, we also provide supportive training and mentorship to nurture the ideas so they can have the best chance at eventually developing into viable commercial ventures. So basically we're touching the minds of the nation in terms of uh, not being afraid to explore their ideas and also to take away uh, the issue that most people have in startups and that's about finding funding. The ITI shares a number of common goals with the, the, the GEW initiative. During the week, organizers seek to inspire persons to explore their potential as self-starters and innovators. This is a goal we also aspire to within the eye to eye, where we encourage persons to act on ideas they might have and move these towards becoming real innovations. In addition, GEW events seek to provide a platform through which persons can be connected to potential collaborators, mentors, and even investors. And I think that video, which I think is absolutely wonderful, uh, touches on that very, very uh, uh, clearly. The value of these sorts of connections in developing ideas and ventures is one that we also recognize. We seek to meet these needs in our eye-to-eye -eye program through organizing workshops where persons can network with industry professionals and stakeholders in small business development. We also provide opportunities for persons to display what they're working on in various exhibitions and showcases. It is because of these close alignments in both our goals that we felt particularly drawn to support in the GW initiative and sought to play an active role in it. On this point, we have moved to organize three key initiatives to be held as part of the activities within GW in Trinidad and Tobago. The first is an innovation forum 2013, and the theme of that is harnessing human ingenuity. This activity is a conference targeted at two attendee groups. 
The first is the budding, is the budding and aspiring entrepreneurs aged between 18 and 35 years, that's the primary target, who wish to learn how to create innovative, sustainable entrepreneurial businesses. The second group in innovation, it, the second group is innovation stakeholders and policy makers, investing in creating a more enabling environment within which innovation and entrepreneurship can flourish. The event will be made up of a mix of local and foreign speakers who can address the topics presented and show examples of on the ground work happening right here in the country today. From this conference, we expect to see a set of outcomes for both target audiences. For the entrepreneurs, we are aiming to communicate that sustainable innovation is something within their grasp. For policymakers, their takeaway would be a general direction set of actions that can be undertaken to create the right enabling environment for innovation, for innovation and entrepreneurship to thrive. Common to both sets of attendees too are the takeaways that great innovation is not random and it's something that can be planned. Along with this, we hope to impart some idea of the, of the nature of the growing local in innovation ecosystem and how persons can access it. Our second activity is the Schools Innovation Roadshow Series. This activity is an attempt by the CCI to drive innovation down to the younger people in Trinidad and Tobago. And we will be targeting students from the Form 5 and Upper 6 levels, representing the age range of around 16 to 18 years. The activity will occur at three locations on three different days during the week. One in Port of Spain to capture the northern part of the country, one in the Coover Point Leases area to capture central and southern participants, and one in Tobago. Our goals for this activity are to expose the students to the innovation process, to excite them about the possi possibilities available to them, and to empower them with knowledge of the resources and methods available to them, to explore and capitalize on opportunities that they might identify. The venue layouts will be in the form of a guided tour of a mini museum of innovation, which is designed to deliver what we aim to accomplish in a short space of time. Key to note here is that the innovations being showcased would all be local in nature. This is an effort to show that innovation can originate in Trinidad and Tobago, and hopefully to also encourage persons by trying to create a stronger connection to the idea of creating innovations. Our third activity falls under the umbrella of Project 5.0, which is an ongoing economic development project within five fishing villages along the north coast of Trinidad. Within this activity, we will be hosting a stakeholder consultation and a community caravan that will bring the fisher folk in contact with agencies and entities that support entrepreneurial activity. The idea behind this would be to expose the fisher folk to these entities and what they can offer while at the same time giving the entities some idea of the activities and work being pursued within these five uh, fishing villages. While we're excited about these initiatives and the many others happening during the week, we remain mindful of the wider impact and connections these activities can have with more long-term initiatives. What we don't want to do in the CCI is to have a set of activities that come off with a bang during the week and then fizzle out in the weeks following the GEW. On this front, we are looking at making these events work in tandem with our broader plans for the eye to eye and for our other initiatives in line with our innovation mandate. For example, we are currently working on mapping the entrepreneurship ecosystem in Trinidad and Tobago to provide some sort of guide of all the supportive elements that are required to successfully grow a venture. The map would include information on who is championing the different elements and we will be working with the entities towards creating offerings that we can pass on to eye to eye 2012 graduates who are now at the point of moving their ideas forward from proof of concept to some form of commercialization. As part of this, we're also working on creating a mechanism that can capture and help develop persons who have shown an interest in the eye to eye but were unsuccessful in securing a grant. That's very important because really what we're getting, we, it, just to give you a flavor, last year we had 400 uh, uh, applicants and we granted 50 awards, uh, totaling uh, $4.7 million. This year we had, I think, 53, 54 uh, uh, applicants and we've granted awards totaling 5.3 or 5.4 million, I believe. Is that right, Vicky? Yeah. And... Um, 
some people didn't win those awards, and what we need to do is they didn't win it because their ideas weren't as innovative. It didn't satisfy the criteria that the evaluation panel will use and the, the, the program asked for. But they're in their own rights, they're good, they're good business potential. So we're seeking now to actually put them, guide them in, in, in a manner to actually take those and, and move them forward. Also related to this are efforts in the ITI 20, 2013 program uh, to offer participants a toolkit for success. We are seeking to provide as much as we can in addition to the funding to help facilitate the development of their ideas. Examples of this include activities such as forums where awardees can network with similarly minded persons and stakeholders. It also includes components such as small business training and other supplemental training related to undertaking commercial activity. Key to these in our understanding of the, of, of the peripheral needs of an early stage, stage venture so that we might effectively support these new ventures. Finally, we are aiming to, to better focus the targeting of our eye to eye 2014 competition by going into universities and encouraging persons to bring out some of the research and the final year projects happening here. In the first two years that we've undertaken this, we've missed this key target audience uh, simply because of our timing. So the idea is to plan a bit earlier and uh, maybe soft launch into, in, into the tertiary uh, education centers. It is our hope that the events during the week will help to establish new connections and fortify old ones between the stakeholders in innovation and entrepreneurship in the country. We also hope that the content being produced and disseminated through the events will work to enrich the local entrepreneurship landscape and help persons to improve their offering towards budding and early stage entrepreneurs. With that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.